Hi, I'm Chris. I'm part of the Great Britain Orienteering Squad and today we're here to look at contours. Contour lines are drawn in brown, joining at points of equal height. They show where the line rises and drops, in other words, hills and valleys. I've just run up here onto the spur, so let's take a look at where we are. Right, we're here at number five. We're on quite a shallow spur, as indicated by the contours being quite spread out here. We're now going to be heading over to Control 6, which is on another spur, but this time it's much larger and the contours are much closer to the, together, so it's going to be much steeper. It's also in rough open land, so when we get there we should be able to see everything out ahead of us. And we're going to be attacking from the very top of the spur, so I'll see you over there. Right, we're here at the attack point. We've got the large re-entrance to our left hand side and then we've got the flat open top spur uh, and the control is just going to be just behind those trees and down the other side. So why are contours important? Well as you progress in orienteering you need to become more confident in using them as they become more important in tougher courses. Uh, they're often more reliable than other uh, features in the terrain as they tend to change less over time. The ridge of the spur makes a good handrail, bending slightly to the right meaning I can follow it as a line feature leading me towards the control. The control itself is three contours down from the top showing me I must ascend. Right, we're at control six now, we're heading towards seven and seven's in a depression on a small hilltop. As we can see, the land drops down before us here and rises up the other side, and that's where we're heading. Having crossed the valley I need to look for a line of three hills before aiming for the middle one. I will then run up this hill over an earth bank to the top. Hilltops are really distinctive contour features because they can often be seen from a long way away. Less distinctive contour features are saddles, but we can clearly see a clear example of one here between these two hills. The big advantage of saddles is that by running through them you can save climbing more than you need to. To control aid I can use subtle contours from my attack point at the field corner. I will contour passing a small hill on my right before rising very slightly over a spur and finally dropping into the re-entrant and gully where the control is. Making this plan early in the leg will save me time as I approach the control. So let's recap on contours. They show the shape of the ground and depending on how close the contour lines are together relates to how steep the ground is. They can be very distinct but they can also be very subtle. Large spurs and re-entrants can act as line features. Hills and ridges can be great as they stand out giving you something to aim for. But the small contour features can still be useful, especially as you approach your control or in flatter areas. It's a hard skill to master but if you can get it right it can certainly show in your orienteering results. Good luck with your next race.